Welcome back to another YouTube video. Yeah, beautiful hosers. And as uh, promised, this is the 66 sub special. Now, exactly what was supposed to be planned today, I'm going to take a minute and just tell you. Now, Jared himself actually has an origin story that he would rather not really want to talk about. However, we're going to talk about that without him. Now, I'm pretty sure he's going to be a little ticked about it, but whatever. We're going to do it without him. So, are you ready? I hope you are. I'm really not. So, we're going to go into the actual character of Jared and my creative process of creating Jared. Now, before we get into the actual gritty stuff of what Jared thinks his origin is... We're actually going to go off of my brain first, however, since I'm the person that created the character, whether he likes it or not. However, Jared himself is pretty much the version of me that um, is quite stereotypical, uh, whether it's saying A, joking about riding moose, which most Americans that I talk to honestly joke about the entire riding moose thing when I talk to them, so there's always that portion. And then there's also the igloos, uh, the always playing hockey, the, uh, what was the other one? Always drinking maple syrup. That was the next one. However, uh, Jared himself is pretty much the side of me that I don't want people to see more or less. Um, he's angry, he's bitter, uh, he's stereotypical, he says A a lot, uh, I used to be really bad for saying A, uh, I don't so much do that anymore, however, Jared himself kind of makes his character, uh, focal point off of being stereotypical like this, and then, uh, saying A after every sentence, A, eh? because, you know, it, it, his character just needs that kind of development. Um, his voice has changed since he first premiered on this because he used to talk like this and now he's talking like this because it makes more sense because now I sound like I'm actually having a conversation rather than uh, going like this, eh? Because obviously, uh, for obvious reasons, you don't want to hear him going... Like this, and then ending every second word with A. What you doing, A? That sort of thing. Now, Jared himself has his own issues, and uh, those issues kind of reflect to exactly who he is. Now, Jared is also a uh, character that has been beaten, broken, scarred, so as to speak to the point of he doesn't like to talk about his own past. Now, this character I've had in my mind for a while since uh, Buggy's Francis stuff and Psycho Kid has been a thing, been around, same with Angry Grandpa on that. But uh, Jared's not really destructive. Jared's main thing is making a joke out of things that normally shouldn't be funny. Now, uh, his main premise is to make you laugh, make you smile, and make you appreciate what's going on. However, certain times where we don't get along, or Jared will actually bring up what I'm thinking, is because Jared genuinely understands what's going on between the two of us better than most people understand. Mainly because we're both the same person. <laughs> However, um, the name Jared actually came from people mispronouncing my name. It got to the point where I just tell people my name's Jared because it's easier to pronounce and you don't have to go, oh, well, Jarrett says this because a lot of people, for whatever reason, can't pronounce Jarrett. So I just go, just call me Jared. We'll leave it at that. So they're like, oh, okay, Jared. So I'm like, that works perfectly fine for me. Now, since he's the alter ego of me, um, he's like me in certain ways and he's not like me in other ways, if that makes any sense. Because, uh, Jared himself really just wants to be understood and that's kind of where his character is. 
However, in his own opinion, he is himself, and he can rewrite his own destiny. However, his actual story for the storytelling aspect is he is a stereotypical Canadian that has gone through heartbreak after heartbreak after heartbreak, and he's finally coming off the rebound of um, just relearning to discover himself and being happy to be himself. Um, we're going to go with the made-up storyline that I've had in my brain for a while, which is he is a only child, and for the sake of this, I might as well tell you guys, is he wasn't adopted. Essentially what his character's storyline is, is he moved out onto his own, as soon as he turned 18. So he's by himself most of the time and he doesn't have friends. His main reason for not having friends around is because he doesn't want to be felt like he's going to let anybody down. So he lone wolfs it for the most part. However, through Jared's ego and his personality, there's kind of a clash in between. And that's right where um, what he calls Tim's is. Which, if you don't understand the lingo, it's short for uh, Tim Hortons. So his character is focused mainly around coffee. Because there is a lot of stereotypical Canadians in Canada that every road trip has to start with Tim Hortons. So Jared's first adventure has to be about Tim Hortons, whether he likes it or not. However, he takes it to the approach like it's kind of a wild beast because he doesn't want to go to the store. So, uh, eventually he's going to find it. However, he's not going to like where he finds it. But, uh, that being said, that is Jared's origin story. Uh, he's a lone wolf. He moved out onto his own. He's got parents. He just doesn't talk about them. However... Um, like I said, he's kind of, uh, the inner me that just kind of wants to be a lone wolf and do his own thing and not have to worry about anything happening to him. So, in other words, he's the me that I don't want you to see on camera. So, that's essentially where we're at. He's the, uh, Francis to my boogie. Or the Psycho Kid to my McJugger Nuggets. Or the, uh, I'm running out of things to say. <laughs> I was going to say run to my Stimpy, but that doesn't make any sense. I'll say he's the cat to my dog. That made a lot more sense than I thought it would. However, I asked you guys a question, and um, there was two likes on the video, and there was a comment left that they uh, Luke Edwards thinks Jared is funny. Now, Squid Shock himself has also said that he likes the Jared character, so I think we're going to see more of him in the future. However, we're limiting it to once a month, and he's not going to find Tim Hortons until December. Now, you may be asking why December is because I have to literally wait until there's snow on the ground. Last time it didn't snow till like November-ish. So, we got to wait till there's actual snow on the ground, and I'm not going to spoil any of the plot line there. However, he's going to find that um it's not exactly what he thought it was going to be like um because that's kind of where his character is going as he's a little confused about everything uh he's angry about a lot of things and a lot of things that he's angry about is people making fun of him so if you make fun of jared chances are he's not going to be uh, exactly pleased about it however uh, he is his own person, so he has his own free will of choosing what he wants and what he doesn't want to do. However, this is where we're going to end it. And, uh...